Have you ever wondered if your computer had a virus? And if so, could you remove it? Well, the answer is yes. Viruses can be removed by users. And there are a couple of steps to take to make sure that that happens. But before we talk about that, let's talk about where the virus came from in the first place, okay? One of the most common ways viruses make their way onto a user's computer is you downloaded it. I know, I hate to tell you that, I'm sorry, but it's the truth, right? So if you're going online and you're downloading files, even if you think the site is trustworthy, you might end up with a virus, right? Now, of course, it goes without saying that the less secure or more untrustworthy sites out there will be more likely to lead to this, right? I mean, again, that's just common sense. This is why MCW is always promoting making sure you know where you are online and what you're downloading before you download it, okay? If you're downloading things like pirated, pirated movies or music or video games, however, you put yourself at a much higher risk, okay? In addition, if you're clicking on links or news articles or ads on the side of those pages or other pages, you also put yourself at a much higher chance of downloading malware, okay? Because it's gonna take you to a site that is most likely not that secure, okay? And you never know when this is gonna happen. I mean, we remember the old pop-ups that kind of made it very easy to notice. It would be like pin the tail on this political figure or whatever. Those were a little bit easier to spot, but nowadays the scammers and the hackers are getting a lot better at making those links and those ads and those news articles look legitimate or like they're going to take you to a legitimate trustworthy site but they don't they hijack you over off to some site that they created and then next thing you know your computer's got malware okay that's just how it happens that's the truth that's the natural progression right there that i just went through right so um again pirated music movies and games you're going to be at a much much higher risk of running into that because those sites are usually chock full of malware they're not monitored that's the whole thing about them right is that like they're trying to say stay incognito and they're not high traffic sites all the time um it's usually for people who are trying to again break the law via pri uh, piracy that's going to put you at a higher risk and then again the uh, the links and the ads and the different even even an email attachments right so we see a lot of links come through email attachment, those could be also just as bad. You might click on one of those and it looks legit or was from a friend who maybe their account was compromised and next thing you know, you're taken to some site where you're either being fished for your information or it's going to download malware to your computer, which is what we're focusing on today, okay? Now, once that malware makes its way onto your system, what happens? Well, it's pretty simple. You're gonna experience things like slow performance. That could be a dead giveaway. If you have good hardware in your system and it's a newer computer, and all of a sudden it takes a performance dive, well, that could point to a uh, malware or virus, okay? Your PC may also crash or just restart randomly without you telling it to. You may have files disappear from your desktop or in your file explorer. And then on your desktop or your file explorer, you may start to see icons or applications appear that you didn't download and that you don't recognize, okay? Those are all signs of a virus, right? Now, if you're not a computer person and you feel like you've downloaded a virus or your system has a virus, what do you do? Well, I'm a big fan of malware bytes as a secondary antivirus on the system, okay? That does a great job scanning your system and removing malware. I've seen it in action here at My Computer Works because it is MCW's recommended antivirus at this time. And I've seen it do great work. When it gets installed onto a computer, even a computer that maybe had antivirus on it, it usually finds things that the other antiviruses were missing, okay? And I, that's a real life experience right there and why I started to really trust and like the product that is Malwarebytes. It's also an American-based antivirus. So if you're here in the US and you want a, an American-based antivirus, Malwarebytes is based in California. So something to think about. Now, you could download that and do a scan with that. But in addition, don't ever forget that you do have what's called Windows Defender in your Windows computer, right? So you can find that simply by opening settings with Windows key and I and then type in virus and threat protection. Okay, you put that into the search bar 
and you can choose either a quick or full scan like I'm doing here. If you think you have a virus, it may be worth doing the full scan, okay? However, AV will only go so far, right? You will also want to take time to comb through your file explorer and look at all the files and folders. And if there's anything you don't recognize, you're gonna to wanna to research that online and make sure it's safe or something that you need. Might be tied to an application on your computer. Might be tied to Windows. So you do wanna be careful about what you delete in there and remove, always research before removing, okay? Research before removing, okay? I like that, we're gonna coin that today. And this can be a daunting task, you know, going through the, the file explorer, there are a lot of files in there. Um, always make sure if you're gonna comb through, you go up to view and then turn on hidden items as well so you can see anything that's hidden on the computer that wasn't just showing before, right? Sometimes it'll hide, they'll hide viruses into hidden folders. So again, daunting task. If you're not a computer person, don't be afraid to call the number at the beginning and the end of the video to get help from a, prof a professional, a technician here at My Computer Works. Come on, can come onto your system and do a cleanup. Now, if you're already a My Computer Works member and you're worried about a virus on your system, reach out via the, the member number that you have and get a technician on to clean it up as soon as possible, okay? Thank you everyone for watching. I hope, if nothing else, if you take nothing else from this video, watch where you're going online and then watch what you download, okay? And resist the click, right? I know there's a lot of ads and a lot of links, a lot of phishing campaigns with the scammers going on right now. We're getting close to holiday times. Be very careful, everyone. Be careful what you click and be careful where you go. But have a great day and I'll see you all on the next one where we'll be talking about shopping safe online, hopefully, right? So hopefully everybody's doing that. Anyway, see you on the next one.